First and foremost, this is for His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and Godolphin. This is a race you know, for years we've been trying to win. I'm just in a fortunate position to be able to turn up with the right horse. It is a massive team, but you know, Chris and the guys here, they've had a couple of testing weeks. But look, look to win an English Derby and win a Melbourne Cup in, in one year, I don't, I don't, I'd like to say I'm going to repeat it, but it's going to be a pretty tall order. But uh, look, just great to be stood here and fantastic for Godolphin. 30th Group 1, the best uh, result of the last six weeks. We've had uh, wins in three continents, Charlie winning the Breeders' Cup, Said in France, and now this. It's absolutely astounding. Famously, this is one of the few races that uh, Sheikh Mohammed and Godolphin have not won, so I'm sure he is absolutely delighted, and it caps off an outstanding year for our uh, whole operation. It means absolutely everything to do it alongside winning the derby. I don't think you could have asked for a better year. A oh, huge buzz to, to win it for Sheikh Mohammed uh, in the Godolphin Blue. Um, it means a hell of a lot. They, they have done so much for my career and had some fantastic times with them overseas. Um, as I said, I've said to my wife a few times, I've, I, I know they're going to win it one year and, and I, luckily I was on the right one this year and um, to do it for Sheikh Mohammed and, uh, and Godolphin and Charlie Appleby, the whole team back in England and Dubai, it's, it's fantastic. Obviously, they support our racing here in Australia so much and um, it's great to have the, the Sheikh here on our shores in Australia, racing horses, both internationally and, uh, and local ones.